haven of friendship. In the heart of a vast Arabian desert, where the sun scorched the golden sands and the wind whispered secrets to the dunes, there stood a small oasis. The oasis was a haven for weary travelers and parched nomads, a sanctuary where life thrived in the midst of the relentless desert. One day, under the scorching sun, a camel named Samir trudged through the endless sea of sand. Samir's weary legs carried a heavy load of goods for his master, Farid. They had been traveling for days, and the oasis was their only hope for respite. As Samir approached the oasis, he noticed another camel named Layla already resting in the shade of the palm trees. Layla belonged to Nadia, a kind-hearted nomad who had been camping near the oasis for some time. Samir and Layla exchanged curious glances, their eyes filled with the weariness of the desert journey. Hello there, Samir greeted Layla, breaking the silence. I'm Samir, and I belong to Farid. We've traveled far, seeking the refuge of this oasis. Layla, with a gentle nod, replied, I am Layla, companion to Nadia. The oasis welcomes all who seek its solace. Please, share the shade with me. Samir gratefully accepted Layla's invitation, and the two camels rested side by side beneath the oasis palms. As they rested, Farid and Nadia struck up a conversation, grateful for the unexpected meeting. Your oasis is a true blessing, Farid said to Nadia. Samir and I were nearly worn out by the relentless sun and sand. Nadia smiled warmly, the oasis is a gift from the desert, a place where friendships bloom like the desert flowers after the rain. Let us share our stories and break bread together. Under the cool shade of the oasis, the four companions exchanged tales of their desert journeys, their laughter echoing through the palm trees. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, a deep bond formed between Samia and Layla, and their masters, Farid and Nadia. Days turned into weeks, and the companions found solace and joy in the oasis. The desert winds carried their laughter across the dunes, and the oasis became a haven not just for the weary bodies but for the weary hearts as well. One day, as the group rested by the oasis, a mysterious wanderer approached. His name was Rafik, a solitary figure wrapped in a dusty cloak. Greetings, travelers. I have heard of the oasis of friendship, and I seek refuge here, Rafik spoke with a weary voice. Nadia, with a welcoming smile, said, You are welcome here, stranger. Join us, and share in the shade and stories. Rafik hesitated for a moment before accepting the invitation. As he sat down with the group, his eyes betrayed a hint of sadness, hidden behind the veil of his cloak. The companions sensed Rafik's solitude and decided to include him in their conversations. As they shared tales of their journeys, Rafik gradually opened up about his past. I was once part of a caravan, but a terrible sandstorm separated me from my companions. I've been wandering alone ever since, searching for a place to call home, Rafik confessed. The companions empathized with Rafik's plight and welcomed him to stay with them. The oasis of friendship had now become a sanctuary for the lost and lonely. Weeks turned into months, and the bond among the travelers deepened. The oasis echoed with laughter, shared dreams, and the clinking of cups as they toasted to the friendship that had blossomed in the heart of the desert. However, fate had a twist awaiting the oasis of friendship. One day, as the sun painted the sky in hues of red and purple, a group of nomads arrived at the oasis. Their leader, an imposing figure named Amir, eyed the oasis with greed in his eyes. 
This oasis belongs to us now. Leave, or face the consequences, Amir declared, his voice echoing across the once serene haven. Nadia, Farid, Samia, Layla, and Rafik stood firm, unwilling to surrender the oasis that had become their home. Amir's nomads, fueled by greed and arrogance, attacked, and a fierce struggle ensued. The once tranquil oasis echoed with the clash of swords, the cries of the combatants, and the desperation of those trying to protect their newfound haven. In the midst of chaos, as dust and sand filled the air, a shocking revelation emerged. Rafik, the mysterious wanderer, revealed his true identity as a skilled warrior. With swift movements and unmatched skill, he fought alongside his companions, turning the tide of the battle. Amir and his nomads, realizing they were outnumbered and outmatched, retreated into the desert, leaving the oasis of friendship in peace once again. As the dust settled, the companions gathered to catch their breath. Nadia looked at Rafik with astonishment, you were never just a wanderer, were you? Rafik smiled, I had my reasons to remain silent. I sought refuge, just like all of you. The oasis of friendship has given me not only shelter but a family. The companions, still catching their breath, looked at Rafik with newfound respect. The oasis, now scarred by the battle, stood as a testament to the strength of their friendship. And so, beneath the fading light of the desert sun, the companions embraced Rafik as one of their own. The oasis of friendship, though marked by the trials of the desert, stood resilient, a symbol of the unbreakable bond that had flourished in its midst. As they sat together, sharing stories of their victories and losses, the oasis echoed with the rejuvenating laughter of true friendship, a laughter that would endure the trials of the desert and the passage of time. Under the gentle glow of the moon, the companions mended the wounds of the oasis, their laughter weaving through the night like a soothing melody. The scars of the battle were now faint echoes in the shifting sands, and the oasis stood strong once more. As days unfolded, the companions discovered a hidden cave near the oasis. The cave, adorned with ancient carvings and mysterious symbols, intrigued them. Nadia, with a curious gleam in her eyes, suggested exploring the depths within. Deep within the cave, they uncovered a treasure trove of forgotten tales etched into the walls. The carvings depicted the history of the desert, the rise and fall of empires, and the stories of those who had sought refuge in the oasis long before them. Among the carvings, they stumbled upon the legend of the Desert Guardian, a mythical creature said to embody the spirit of the desert. It was believed that the Guardian had the power to grant a single wish to those who proved themselves worthy. Intrigued by the legend, the companions decided to embark on a journey to discover the truth behind the mythical creature. As they delved deeper into the desert, following the clues left by the carvings, the landscape around them transformed into a mesmerizing tapestry of shifting dunes and starlit skies. During their journey, they encountered challenges that tested their resolve. From treacherous sandstorms to elusive desert mirages, each obstacle brought them closer to the heart of the desert, where the legend of the Desert Guardian awaited. As they pressed on, Rafik shared tales of his nomadic upbringing, revealing the traditions and stories passed down through generations. The companions found solace in Rafik's words, realizing that their individual stories were threads woven into the rich fabric of the desert's history. One night, under the vast canopy of twinkling stars, they reached the heart of the desert, a place where time seemed to stand still. In the center of a vast clearing, they discovered an ancient altar adorned with symbols resembling those on the cave walls. As the companions approached the altar, a shimmering figure materialized before them. 
It was the Desert Guardian, a majestic creature with luminous eyes and wings that seemed to be made of stardust. Greetings, Seekers of the Oasis. You have proven your courage and unity, the Guardian spoke, its voice echoing like a gentle breeze. I offer you each a single wish. Choose wisely, for the desert grants its gifts with purpose. Nadia, the first to step forward, wished for wisdom to guide her people. Farid wished for prosperity to bless his caravan journeys. Layla wished for the strength to endure the harshest storms. Rafik, with a heartfelt smile, wished for a home where wanderers could find refuge. As each wish was granted, the Desert Guardian's form began to dissolve, leaving behind a radiant glow that enveloped the companions. They found themselves transported back to the oasis, their wishes imprinted on their hearts. The oasis, touched by the magic of the Desert Guardian, flourished with newfound vitality. The palm tree stood taller, and the water sparkled with a rejuvenating energy. The companions, having returned from their mystical journey, marveled at the transformation. With their wishes fulfilled, the companions continued to thrive in the oasis of friendship. The magic of the Desert Guardian infused their lives with a sense of purpose and interconnectedness, binding them together in a tapestry of shared dreams and aspirations. And so, beneath the eternal gaze of the desert stars, the companions embraced the ongoing journey of friendship, their lives intertwined with the ever-shifting sands of the oasis. The legend of the Desert Guardian became a cherished chapter in the oasis's history, a reminder that the bonds forged in the heart of the desert were as enduring as the tales carved into the ancient cave walls. In the wake of the Desert Guardian's blessings, the companions reveled in the newfound energy that permeated the oasis. The palm trees swayed with a rhythmic dance, and the air carried a sense of anticipation, as if the very essence of the desert pulsed through the heart of their haven. As life unfolded, a messenger arrived at the oasis, bearing news of a neighboring tribe facing a grave threat. The companions, fueled by the bonds of friendship and the spirit of the oasis, decided to offer their help. Journeying through the vast desert, they reached the troubled tribe, whose wells had run dry, and crops withered under the relentless Sunday. The leader of the tribe, a wise elder named Zura, welcomed the companions, gratitude evident in her weary eyes. We are humbled by your arrival. Our land suffers, and our people yearn for relief, Zura spoke, her voice carrying the weight of her people's struggles. Nadia, Farid, Layla, and Rafik joined forces with the tribe, sharing the wisdom gained from their experiences at the oasis. Together, they devised innovative methods to harvest water, cultivating hardy crops that could withstand the desert's harsh conditions. Days turned into weeks, and the oasis of friendship became a beacon of hope for the struggling tribe. The once barren land now bore the fruits of their collective efforts, and a sense of renewal swept through the community. In the midst of their shared endeavors, the companions discovered an ancient well hidden deep within the tribe's territory. The well, adorned with symbols reminiscent of those on the cave walls, exuded a mystical aura. Nadia, ever curious, recognized the significance of the markings. This well is a conduit to the life force of the desert, she exclaimed. It connects us to the very essence that sustains the oasis of friendship. With newfound purpose, the companions sought to unlock the well's secrets. Together, they performed rituals passed down through the ages, channeling the energy of the desert into the well. As they did, the water within shimmered with an otherworldly glow. Zura, witnessing the transformation, spoke with awe, you have awakened the ancient magic that flows beneath our feet. The well is a bridge between our people and the spirit of the desert. The well, now imbued with the essence of the oasis, became a source of abundance for the tribe. 
the once struggling community thrived, and a profound connection blossomed between the two groups. The oasis of friendship had expanded its embrace to include the neighboring tribe, uniting them in the shared endeavor of survival. As the companions and the tribe celebrated their success, a distant rumble echoed through the desert. The sky darkened, and a colossal sandstorm emerged on the horizon. Fear swept through the tribe's people, for they knew the destructive force that nature could unleash. In the face of adversity, the companions rallied the tribe, leading them to the shelter of the oasis. The storm raged around them, sand swirling in a chaotic dance. Yet, within the protective embrace of the oasis, they found solace and strength. As the storm subsided, revealing a transformed landscape, the companions realized that the oasis of friendship had not only weathered the storm but had grown stronger. The once parched desert now bore the imprints of their shared journey, a testament to the enduring bonds forged in the heart of adversity. With the storm behind them, the companions and the tribe stood united, their friendship a beacon that illuminated the vast expanse of the desert. The oasis, now enriched by the spirit of the neighboring tribe, radiated a harmonious energy, echoing the resilience of those who dared to stand together against the forces of nature. And so, beneath the sunlit sky, the companions and the tribe continued to cultivate the oasis of friendship, their shared experiences etched into the very fabric of the desert. The journey, marked by challenges and triumphs, unfolded like an unwritten chapter in the ancient tales of the Arabian Sands. In the wake of the sandstorm, the companions and the tribe found themselves facing a new challenge. The oasis of friendship, now thriving with life, became a target for a band of desert marauders led by a formidable figure named Malik. These marauders, driven by greed, sought to claim the oasis and its newfound prosperity for themselves. Word of the impending threat reached the companions, prompting them to fortify the oasis in preparation for the impending clash. Nadia, with her keen intellect, devised clever strategies to defend their haven. Farid and Rafik, seasoned by their desert experiences, trained the tribe in the art of swift and agile combat. Layla, sensing the tension in the air, stood by their side, her eyes reflecting a determination that surpassed her usual calm demeanor. The oasis, once a sanctuary of peace, transformed into a bastion of resistance against the impending storm of conflict. As the marauders approached, the oasis echoed with the sounds of clashing weapons and the rallying cries of the defenders. The battle unfolded beneath the scorching sun, the sands bearing witness to the clash between greed and the indomitable spirit of friendship. Malik, with a cunning grin, confronted Nadia, challenging her to a duel of wits and strength. The oasis trembled with the intensity of their confrontation, the fate of the haven hanging in the balance. In the midst of the battle, Layla, driven by an unexpected surge of courage, charged forward to aid Nadia. The sight of the once serene camel transformed into a formidable warrior astonished both allies and foes alike. Layla's swift maneuvers and agile kicks turned the tide of the battle, leaving the marauders in disarray. As the dust settled, Malik, defeated and humbled, acknowledged the strength of the companion's bond and the resilience of the oasis. He withdrew his marauders, vanishing into the vast desert, leaving behind the echoes of their failed conquest. The companions and the tribe, victorious but scarred, gathered at the oasis. Layla, still adorned in the remnants of battle, received nods of respect and gratitude from those she had defended. Nadia, Farid, and Rafik, their eyes reflecting the weariness of the struggle, stood united in the face of adversity. Amid the remnants of the battle, a sense of triumph prevailed. The oasis of friendship, now battle-hardened, bore witness to the strength of unity and the unwavering commitment to defend what they held dear. Days turned into nights, and the oasis resumed its tranquil existence. 
the scars of the conflict faded beneath the healing touch of the desert winds. The companions, their bond unbroken, continued to cultivate the oasis, knowing that the challenges they faced had only strengthened the roots of their friendship. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting hues of orange and pink across the desert sky, the companions and the tribe gathered around a flickering campfire. Under the twinkling stars, they shared stories of their shared victories and the lessons learned in the crucible of adversity. The oasis of friendship, now adorned with the echoes of battles won and alliances forged, stood as a testament to the enduring strength of camaraderie. The companions, their hearts intertwined like the intricate patterns etched into the desert sands, embraced the ongoing journey with a renewed sense of purpose. And so, beneath the vast expanse of the night sky, the oasis of friendship thrived, its story continuing to unfold in the ever-shifting sands of the Arabian desert. The companions, bound by the trials they faced together, looked toward the future with a collective spirit that transcended the challenges of the past.